Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And it's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So no long intro. I, all I want to say is I apologize for getting these out so late, but I needed a break. All right. So check it out, Scorpio. Let's talk about your pre-shuffle energies. I, You know, by the time I got to this poll by the end of this poll i was like damn is scorpio not wanting to talk about anything right now but one card has come out for you and it's the lovers we could be talking about love here if you're new to the channel then you should know that i don't really focus on love other than over on patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations i do specific monthly love readings there but when i'm but normally when i do these readings for people i am looking to discuss what it is they need to know about their lives or their reality at this moment okay so I'm not trying to get any real sort of deep information in terms of love or relationship with another person unless it comes up naturally. And it seems like that for some of you, it has come up naturally here with the lovers. But ultimately, you need to keep in mind or you need to understand that the lovers really is about a choice. Yes, it can be a choice of two lovers, multiple lovers even. Um, but ultimately, no matter what this choice is, the, regardless, the choice is whether to choose vice or virtue, vice being that which makes you unhappy or that which other people say that you want, that you should want or you should do or blah, blah, blah. Virtue being what does make you happy, virtue being what your heart is calling for. And, and what I want to say about this, Scorpio, especially with the nine of wands and also now the two of pentacles that's underneath the nine of wands, I want to say you guys are stuck between a rock and a hard place, or at least somebody here is. Quite, uh, quite frankly, this could be someone else that you're, ref you're else that you are connected with. But understand that this is a general reading, right? So take it as it resonates. But there is a decision that you need to make, and I kind of even want to say that some of you may be dragging your feet on this. You may have been dragging your feet for a long time. Quite frankly, I will say that I, I do understand that this could be a very difficult decision for you. It often is in our current society. Current society. It's often difficult for us to choose with, to lead with our heart or choose what our heart wants when we have all these other opinions coming at us left, right, and center telling us what we should or shouldn't do. So at this point, Scorpio, what I want to say to you is you need to follow your heart. Man, is that a cliche? Yes, I know, Scorpio. I'm well aware of that. But that's really what the message is for you right now, okay? All right. I know my head is getting cut off here. Uh, I have a new setup. This is a work in progress, you guys. Alrighty, kids. So I'm going to get into this now and let's see what else we have for you for this month. Yes? Excellent. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, we're giving this five shuffles. One. Two. And Scorpios. Three. Four. For the month of September 2020 and beyond. And five. Let us cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. We are starting you off with the Page of Wands. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. The Page of Wands to me is a time of re-identification. I do kind of see the Page of Wands as a minor arcana version of the Hermit sometimes uh, because with the Page of Wands, like, and, and actually I got this definition from this depiction this deck and another deck that is depicted the same way it's just not golden but you see how that that is a grown-ass man right there and this is the page 
pages are usually depicted as adolescents, you know, and they're fairly androgynous because it's a young, it's a young person that can kind of look like a man or a woman, a boy or a girl. Okay. But here in this deck, this is a grown ass man. And so sometimes when this card comes out, well, often I see this card as like re-identifying yourself or changing the game, changing how you align, changing how you approach life, changing how you show up in life. Sometimes this page of wands can represent a midlife crisis. So with that said, now I'm feeling like some of you might actually be facing the reality of divorce or leaving a partner behind. For some of you, it's even leaving a potential partnership behind. Maybe you haven't even gotten fully into this partnership with someone, but someone is questioning his some, is questioning something or someone is re-identifying themselves somehow, okay? Underneath the page of wands, you do, ooh, chow, look at you. You've got the tower, honey. Yo, talk about a fucking midlife crisis, honey. Ooh, okay. Underneath the tower, damn, y'all, you've got the fool. And then underneath the fool is the eight of swords. Jailbreak. Oh, Libra got the same thing. Okay. Yeah, someone's taking a leap of faith. Someone is moving in a new direction. Someone is setting, I kind of even want to say, someone is setting the past on fire. Yikes. All right, Scorpio. <laughs> Let's get into the rest of this here for you. First set of surrounding energies in your first half of your reading, you have the knight of swords. Uh, aggressively charging towards something. Someone could be aggressively charging towards you, or you could be aggressively charging towards someone else. Ultimately, though, this change that's happening here, I feel like it's happening fast and furious. And at this point, I kind of want to say there's no stopping this train with the intense force that's coming through the Knight of Swords, okay? Knight of Swords is coupled with the Five of Swords. Scorpio, be careful. Don't go riding into a, a, a lose-lose situation, circumstance, with guns ablazing. Some of you might be fighting to get yourself out of this circumstance. But what I want to say to you, Scorpio, ooh, I almost wanted to just say Virgo. Y'all could be dealing with a Virgo, or you could have Virgo in your chart somehow. But what I want to say is, Honey, put your sword down, put your guns down, and ride off on that horse with all that intense energy to just get yourself out of there. Stop fighting. Stop fighting, Scorpio, because it is a lose-lose situation. Nobody wins here. Everybody loses. No matter who comes out on top, everybody loses. But that could be why you are so aggressively trying to get yourself out of here. So I understand that. So use that anger, use that force, use that fierce energy to just get away from the situation. Don't use it to fight back because that is not going to help you. I keep hearing guns ablazing. Don't do it. And maybe they're the ones that have their guns blazing. That's fine. You put on your armor, you get behind your shield and get the fuck out of there. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. In the first half of your reading, you have the six of cups. This has to do with the past. This could be a soulmate situation. This could very well be a twin flame situation with that with the lovers that came out there, murder skater. Uh, but quite frankly, this does have something to do with the past that you're writing away from. Six of Cups is coupled with, ah, the Empress. I do think this has to do with children. This could be a situation in which you want to have children. Maybe you already do have children. And maybe you've been staying in a relationship or a circumstance because of children. What you need to understand is even if you go off on your own and be a single mother or a single father, you will still have the abundance necessary at your disposal provided to you by the universe in order to care for your children or in order to care for those you choose or wish to or need to take care of, care for. Okay, uh, bop, ba, da, bop, 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 bop. Your challenge, 10 of wands, releasing the burden, Scorpio. No what? And it, it's no wonder that the lovers came out in the beginning of the reading and there is, and it's depicting such an, an, an intense or a hard choice to make. 
but you are overburdened here and you need to let go of some of those burdens in order for yourself to feel lighter. What you also need to understand, Scorpio, is that when you start letting go, letting go of these burdens and you start lightening your load and you start to see things differently, then there are going to be more burdens that are going to be ready to be released. And I think that's what some of you are afraid of. I think some of you, especially with this tower energy, I think some of you recognize the domino effect that whatever it is you're going through or whatever choice you need to make is going to have on your life on the lives of other people, or at least just your circumstance, and you might be shying away from that a little bit. You might be fighting tooth and nail, five of swords, knight of swords, in order to keep this situation going just because of the perceived domino effect that may be in front of you in terms of this situ uh, this choice. But understand, Scorpio, that you're, you're fighting a losing battle here, okay? And you need to let go of something, some things. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands is coupled with judgment. Scorpio, this is something that Spirit has been guiding you to let go of for the longest time, which makes a lot of sense. Scorpio is a fixed sign, even though it's water. It's still a fixed sign. Okay, that makes sense. But you've got to let go of some of these burdens. Okay? It's almost, I'm going to be honest with you, Scorpio, it's almost as if Spirit is giving you an ultimatum, an ultimatum right now between the, between the tower and judgment the ten of wands and the lovers you've got to choose what is ultimately what is right, right or best for you no one else's choice but yours closing message or potential outcome for you scorpio ah, ooh, the seven of swords i'm actually i am feeling deceit this time when the seven of swords is coming out sometimes it feels like you're just trying to be uh discreet but I am picking up on deceit, deception, and it's not necessarily on your behalf. I feel like it's on the behalf of other people around you or other external forces or external individuals involved in this situation. Seven of Swords, I, just, I really just want to say someone or something is either lying to you or trying to lie to you. Seven of Swords is coupled with yeah, the Six of Pentacles. So it could be that this situation that you're needing to break away from is not as reciprocal as it may seem or as the people involved in it, external to yourself, may want you to believe this could be a marriage or at least a long-standing relationship, romantic relationship. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to move over to part two, which can be found over on Patreon. Yes, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Uh, so if I don't see you over there, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, please don't hesitate to he email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. Just email me and I, will, <clears throat> excuse me and I will get you set up with that said. I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Cool. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.